And Bob's your auntie. There's a lot of meat just chilling. This is what we call fast food. Welcome to Wild Hearts. How may I take your order? On the menu, all we have is sliced meat, but it's sourced from the Accucure Canyons. The build right here is Arby's, all right? We mean business. All you're really using is the uh, Harvester helmet and the Harvester feet, and that makes you have a better chance of getting extra meat from the monsters you're farming. And by the way, the whole purpose of this video is showing you how to farm meat effectively to make smoked soy meat, which is a very easy food source for just playing the game and farming stuff like crazy. Got some, got some harvester talismans and the weapons the great sword, which is probably the easiest thing to just use to kill monsters and uh, or small kimono uh, efficiently. Now, the tactic I employ is pretty simple. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but when it doesn't work, it's very easy to try again. So in this case, you go to the Akuka Canyon, all right, biome, and you queue into a Tempest or Golden Tempest fight. You're not actually fighting it. You're queuing into the hunt, and the goal is to have the tiger, little Tony, spawn in one of two areas, which I will show you on the map as soon as the load screen is done. Oh, we love live commentary. It's actually easier to an extent than having to go back and edit stuff, and maybe, you know, it makes it more personable. Oh, you guys are having a great day. So in this case, the tiger is not where I need to be. Pain. The tiger has to spawn over there or over there. And if it does, then a bunch of small little cows will run to a decent area where you can just kill them all, which is nice. And you can do it in this area. Like, wherever the tiger spawns, you can do it. I'm not sure if other monsters let you do the same thing. I just know that cows are afraid of tigers. I learned that from Wild Hearts. So, folks will say this game's too expensive, 70 bucks. You can't put a price on that kind of education. All right. But holy smokes, I'm about to refund it if the tiger doesn't spawn where I need to spawn. <laughs> Go back to your home, brother. Trolling every time I do this. When I'm not recording, it's like I have it spawned in the right in the right spot five times in a row. It's like, oh, sick. Moment I hit record, it's like, hey, man, I forgot the script. This tiger, bro. Messing up something fierce. When this works, you'll be like, whoa, dude, that's crazy. Which maybe, okay, see, see, I told you. Big thing, see, see those cows running for their absolute lives? Yes, yeah, right. Lambs to slaughter. In this case, it's like cows to the Whataburger grill. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag yet. <laughs> you thought I'd give up. All right, the gold shard trying to grief, trying to grief my process. Now, you could kill these two on your way to these giant herd, or you could be patient and then do that. And then and then do this. No. This is why Great Sword's the goat. Great Sword's the goat because of the giant freaking sweeping slashes. And Springboards is like a, a one tap if you land both hits. It is nice also to have sleep, a sleep talisman of some kind. It's cool that there's a sleep slash harvester talisman because that way when you hit the monster it goes to sleep versus getting hit getting spooked and running away from you but look at this bro look at the efficiency when this actually works and there will there will be times where it's like back to back to back where like you don't have to, you don't have to keep requeuing in and requeuing out it's more so i go into the next hunt and it just puts me in the right situation hey first try Because if you hunt things, it is wise to always eat meat. Except for like maybe mighty stuff. Because once you get to end game, mighty stuff isn't that bad at all. Like it dies really fast. It's more so volatiles. Volatiles. He's just sitting there chilling. Bulling. Hey, look at this. Like you can't beat this. You can't beat the efficiency here. Unbeatable, bro. I'm gonna be a grill master. Why is my nose itchy? What is happening here? I'm getting rolled by nanobites. There's one cow behind me that's currently also this freaking rug. Always wants to smoke. Now, one thing I would love. I'm telling you, my nose is itchy and it's bothering me. One thing I would love is to just have a few more things 
that would uh, make this whole process a bit more streamlined. Like, imagine a talisman or something that made it to where if you harvested a small kimono, it would also harvest all the other small kimono in a radius. Because if I harvested one, it'd be done. You know what I mean? Just saying. That'd be nice, because I think a big drawing factor to these games is builds. Build diversity. Now, this is what I do with the meat. It's pretty simple. It's not too complicated. If you use elemental weapons, I don't know if it's actually the play. I think you're better off making elemental food, like fire boost, water boost, stuff like that, which I made a video that covers kind of how to do that. In this case, we're not doing that. We're making regular raw damage food that applies to all, all weapons that have raw damage. That focus on that. And it's very simple. You basically need to have a fish collector, which in my case, I put mine all in this one area, so it's not too much of a hassle. I collect it when they're done doing their thing. In this case, it's just going through a, a wall. Good job. Keep doing you. Keep up the good work. Once you have enough fish, you put them in this little pot thing, and that will give you fish paste. Then you take that fish paste and your sliced meat, put them in a pickling jar. Boom. Boom. And bada bing. And that will give you soy meat. And soy meat's like plus 12 HP, 4% attack boost, 5% stamina alleviation. You smoke that. You know, right here. And bada bing. You get 5% attack boost, 7% stamina alleviation, 13 HP, and 45 calories. So you can eat two of those and you'll have 10 calories left. With the remaining 10 calories, I suggest putting food shrines on this same area. Because they can give you two things you could use to fill up that space. One is more of a defensive thing. The other is an offensive item. So the, de the defensive food would be these eggplants. It's 10 calories, plus 2 HP, and 1% defense boost. Okay. The offensive item is 10 calories and 1% attack boost. So that's what I do for food. I eat two smoked soy meats and then one rock salt if I'm like really trying to kill things fast. And or I eat an eggplant just so I could eat something. And you get a bunch of these eggplants. I recently sold like 120 because I was getting so many. And that's all I do for food. Now, I might address it in another video again. But the food system in this game is beyond tedious. Like, look at this, bro. Does this is look good visually? I don't think so. Like, having to have all these pots, having to have all these smokers. It's just, like, it's just tedious. The fish collectors, not too big a deal. Like, I think that's kind of cool, actually. This stuff, this gets ridiculous. Because it's not just having to go to it be like, okay, cool. Okay, I picked it up. Then I'm done, right? Nah, 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 nah. You got to go to it, pick it up, click on it, open the menu, click on what you want to smoke, go down here, click a yes, click yes again, and that's just to make one smoked meat. That is ridiculous. It's tedious. It's not enjoyable. There's a lot of things you could do, but the main thing I would want to have happen, which wouldn't be perfect, but it makes this so much easier, just give me less smokers so I can do less of that nonsense. And one massive thing is when you're using smoke when you're using pickling jars, fermenters, whatever the case, when you click an item, I don't see why it I can't just click this once and it just fills it up as much as it can, just automatically. It's like, okay, cool. You you click slice meat. Fill this up with as much sliced meat as you have. Because that makes the most sense. Because who's just going to want to put in one sliced meat? Because the vast majority of folks just want to put it in and call it good. And the folks are like, no, I want to be more particular than that. They can do this. They can remove it. And they're fine. But just make it to where it just auto-completes. Because there's stuff where you have to click a button a lot. Example, actually. This is actually a perfect example when it comes to fermenting stuff. If you happen to want to make vinegar... That is 38 button presses or three vinegar. I don't mind that it costs that much of the, the vegetable. That's not a big deal to me. It's more so having to click the button that many times. I'm going to get arthritis, brother. And that's just the food department. Like the end game itself could use some adjustment. But hey, I might make a video called five things that improve about wild hearts. Maybe because I'm kind of slacking a little bit. But that's what I do for food. Hopefully it helps you in some way. Hopefully you enjoy a little rants. And that's the video, folks. Thank you all for watching. Peace.